All right, real quick video, guys. We're going to go over the pros and cons of this uh, Tamiya kit. I just finished up the, the 88 gun. Boy, I tell you, um, I haven't got a ton of modeling experience, but I can tell you that this was a really tough kit. Um, lots and lots of detail parts. Um, just incredible. It's a great kit. Everything went together pretty well. So there was a couple of ambiguities in the instructions, but nothing we couldn't sort out. Um, you know, a couple weeks of building on and off. Uh, I'm not going at it full bore because there's just so many parts. Every little part that you see is a separate part. Now the thing with the kits is every part is has to be taken off the sprue, obviously clipped off the sprue and then you have to go in with your hobby knife my old trusty friend there and it has to be every mold line any flashing all that has to be cleaned off part by part assembly by assembly and uh, I'll turn it around here and show you the guns fully uh, traversable alright it raises and lowers it even has the see those two pieces here those are your um, almost like a uh, hydraulic system and if you can see here in the back of the gun we even have a hydraulic piston here where that actually slides in and out of this uh, huge piston here um, all that are all individual parts uh, I went ahead and put a shell up to the breech with the auto loader. You can see that uh, that auto loader folds down, and I give you an idea of the size of the shells. Obviously, they wouldn't transport this gun. We're going to be working on the eight-ton half track. I haven't decided if I'm going to set this up like the crew is getting ready to fire the gun, and I'll have the truck either in the front or parked off to the side. Um, I'll make that decision once I build the truck and see how much space it's going to take up inside the diorama um, casing. Um, we even have real communication cables that are made out of rubber, right? Um, and that's the thing with the gun kits. Um, watching Andy's hobby, I'll show you the wheels configuration. See, there's it's got dually wheels. These things were badass when they were on transports like this, and obviously they had a a system of um, taking these wheel bogies off and you can make the weapon stationary but a lot of times during the Africa Corps which is what we're going after with this paint scheme um, and this is set up as a flak 36 so it is set up as an anti-tank right so you can use it for anti-air but it's they pretty much have a two different kit builds and this one is built for the anti tank version. You see a operator seat, uh, you see the release mechanisms for taking the bogies off um, if you wanted to have this freestanding without wheels. Um, you can see what an amazing piece of equipment this was for the Germans. Um, so yeah, I encourage you guys, if you're getting on here, you're into Flames of War or you know World War II bolt action, uh, to consider getting into doing some uh, model hobbying. Um, so yeah, we got uh, a lot of details here that really um, show you <laughs> how intricate these guns were. But the gun kits, I'm noticing, even if you do artillery kits, they're really detailed like this, but that's what you want. I mean, you want all this beautiful detail, because once we go over the next segment, we are going to go over here to the paint booth, and we're going to start hitting this with the black. I'm going to go with a black base coat. Um, we're going to go with a black base coat, and then I'm going to custom mix uh, a Desert Sands uh, scheme. And um, yeah, so I'll show you that step by step, but the first uh, video here I'm going to show you is going to be just applying the black base coat uh, with my airbrush. Uh, but to show you guys that have stumbled onto the channel that are kind of new to the channel, um, I've got these that I use. Now this is a new shelf kit I picked up off of Amazon. I'll put it in the product links uh, since I am now an Amazon affiliate. Uh, you can get some discounts on your kits, discounts on the products that I recommend 
Uh, so click on the links below. You'll get a discount. It'll help me out uh, with future model kits that I get from Amazon. But you can see for you new guys, I still have not put the T34 diorama together yet. That's what I'm getting ready to clear off this thing there. I've got the diorama um, display case ready for it. But you can see the other two that I have here. That's kind of what I've done until I finish off the rest of the man cave. Uh, I picked up this shelf kit for putting diorama kits, uh, future model build kits uh, for staging. I also went ahead and picked up an extra display case. So if you guys are looking to get those, you can get them at uh, oh Hobby Lobby will be here in the U.S. Uh, they've gone up a little bit. They used to be $19.99. They're $21.99 now. Uh, they're great little display plastic display cases. You can see they have a nice black, uh, flat black plate base. And um, a lot of times you can get a 40% discount coupon at the store. And it will knock off 40% for you. So you can get these for less than 20 bucks with tax. So there's my Easy 8 build. There was my Tiger build. Try to get off some of this glare. Uh, I am entering these three kits. So once this gets uh, based... They are getting entered into a local model model competition. I'll do a separate video on that. But uh, yeah, so I basically got this off of Amazon. It's about fifty bucks, um, and I still got my my kit bags, and then uh, we're pretty much ready to go. Uh, doing some painting today. I've really got to get these off the paint table since the the eighty eight is going to be going over there soon. So I'm going to be working on those heavy this weekend. And uh, that's about it. Let's go to the next segment. I'll show you the base coating of this sucker.